BioCare is all about patient care. And this year there are two exciting discoveries that will help pathologists with difficult clinical problems. To tell us more about BioCare and exactly what's going on in the world of research, I'm joined now by Mark Cross, who's the head of marketing and sales. And Mark, give us an idea of uh, uh, some of these exciting discoveries and also what BioCare is really all about. You know, BioCare has always led in some novel areas. Uh, one of those areas has been the application of multiplex IHC, which is multiple markers on a single slide. Uh, when most, most uh, pathologists are really running a single antibody on a slide, we're able to give more information. Uh, for instance, if you're doing a ratio or something else, that you can have the whole result on, on a single slide. This year, we have a couple different uh, very exciting products, one for prostate cancer and the other for uh, differentiation of adeno versus squamous cell carcinoma of the lung. Well, let's go take a look at some of this new equipment that's so okay. exciting. So Mark, you were telling me that uh, one of the products you're introducing is an antibody that identifies the ERG translocation in prostate cancer. Tell us more about this exciting product. This is actually revolutionary for prostate cancer. Uh, having a specificity that all, approaching 100%, 99.6%, uh, for this particular antibody is something that uh, has really been the holy grail for prostate cancer diagnosis. So this is a key factor. The other thing is that if you have uh, ERG positivity, what this tells you is that you've got cancer, even if you can't see the cancer exactly at that point, you've got cancer somewhere in that biopsy. ERG positivity is associated with the index tumor, the tumors which drive the, the extent of the disease, even if you have multiple clones, uh, in 90% of cases. And uh, if you've got even an ERG positive pin sample, for example, you don't see cancer, you've got over a 96% chance of there being cancer somewhere else in that, in that tumor. So that's something that really can help uh, the pathologist and the urologist in terms of treatment. Mark, in selecting an antibody against ERG, uh, what should the pathologist consider and look at? You know, you're really looking at, uh, for any antibody, you want, a, you want an antibody that's very specific and very sensitive. Now, ERG will stain, uh, is present in uh, 45 to 65 percent of prostate cancers. That's sort of a given. So you really want to want to see something that has a very high uh, specificity. So uh, you don't want an antibody, for instance, that stains infiltrating T and B cells, because especially if you're looking at a lymph node or or something like that, it can, that can be very difficult to separate out. High grade cancers that can be very high to uh, very difficult to separate out. So that's a key uh, a key issue I think to, to look for when you're looking at different different antibodies for this function. Thanks so much, Mark. And I know with BioCare, it's all about caring for the patients. And another area of intense research involves lung cancer. I'm joined now by Dr. Rhonda Henschel Powell, who is the Marketing and Education Manager for BioCare. Tell us a little bit about the Pomo Panel. Yes, so the uh, Pomo Panel is a new six antibody panel that we're just launching today. It went live today. And we are um, using this to differentiate between squamous cell carcinoma and adenocarcinoma of the lung. This is critically important since use of VEGF inhibitors such as Avastin with squamous cell carcinoma can result in lung hemorrhage and a 30% mortality rate. Maybe you could give us an idea of exactly how this works. Yes, so it's a, it, we make it extremely simple. Um, it's a three-step process. It's a panel of six antibodies. The first, um, the first pair of antibodies you go through and do the Desmoglion 3 and Napsin A. And this tells you with 100% specificity that it's either squamous cell carcinoma because the desmoglein 3 is positive, or it's lung adenocarcinoma and the Napsin A is positive. Um, and pretty much all except 15% of cases can be diagnosed in that first step of the panel. After that, then you would take on and do the CK5 and TTF1. And again, if CK5 is positive, you know with 100% specificity that you have squamous cell carcinoma. If it's TTF1 positive, then you have, uh, it's about 95% specificity for adenocarcinoma. And really that does leave you pretty much at nine, 7 to 9% left of unclassified lung tumours. And so to give you that final level of comfort, you would go through and do P63 and trim 29. And if either of them are positive, then you know that um, squamous cell is the, is the one to call it. Um, and basically, at the end of the day, when you've done all through the cases, you've only got 7% left unclassified. So this is really, it's really tight and it's a very specific test. And what's really unique about this is how simple it is to do. There are other tests out there with this, with this panel of antibodies or, or different combinations of other antibodies, but they're complicated to understand. And you don't really understand what, um, you know, how to calculate it. How do you know whether you've really got a strong diagnosis? 
Three of the antibodies in our panel give you 100% specificity. So you really do know. It's either on or off. And that's what one of the unique things about BioCare is we take complicated technology and we really make sure that it's accessible to all pathology labs. From prostate cancer to lung cancer and beyond, BioCare is fighting cancer, one slide at a time. <laughs>